The Cohasset Fire Department has been approved for a net of Jaws of Life tools, and they were approved of that last August, and they've already helped save one life. Lakeland News reporter Sherell Moore tells us what makes the tools the best of their kind. This one here is a cutter for cutting door hinges, cutting the door off, cutting panels off the side. Being right on Highway 2 can have its perks. Cars are always passing through, which could bring more business to your city. But more cars could also potentially mean more accidents. Right out here, it's the main highway, um, so we get, we get many car accidents. Um, back years ago when I first got on, we didn't even have Jaws of Life, so we always had to call Grand Rapids Fire. The Cohasset Fire Department receives more than 200 calls a year, and their old Jaws of Life tools were getting old. With so many calls, they really needed an upgrade, which led the department to make another big decision. Hydraulic versus battery powered. We tried out probably four different, four different brands from the hydraulics to the battery powered ones. <clears throat> and they're being very nervous about the batteries being in cold weather, but they're tested. They've tested them up in Alaska, cold weather incidents. They've got the same power. This here is what they call the ram, hydro, hydraulic ram. Whether it's you have to lift the um, dash up so you can get people's feet untangled from them or whatever. There's three parts total, and they also have a long battery life. The Cohasset Fire Department says a lot of fire stations have switched to battery powered, so they seemed like a good fit. Now instead of two guys, one grabbing the power pack out of the truck and one grabbing the tool, one guy can grab the tool, you're down into the vehicle, whatever. Um, they're, they're just, there's no maintenance as far as a gas engine that you have to deal with. So far, the Cohasset Fire Department has only had to use the tools one time, although they're hoping to never have to take them out of the truck. Hopefully everybody be, is safe driving and so that these never have to be tested out. We do have them in case, they, if, in case we need them, but we hope we don't ever have to use them. Reporting in Cohasset, Sheryl Moore, Lakeland News. The Cohasset Fire Department is looking for firefighters. Anyone interested can contact Cohasset City Hall. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.